Du Ching Lai. The girls in traditional Dutch costumes. Warm congratulations. Dubs of peace on their way to freedom. Cameras flashing everywhere. Blushing roses. A smile of relief. Sparkling champagne and a merry policeman. Christening the roses. The winner's shining trophy, the Elliott Gold Cup. And of course, the medal. All this has something to do with a super supple 16-year-old American star who came with her sporting friends from all over the world to the Dutch city of The Hague. A fabulous feast of gymnastics. been in a competition like this with competing with rhythmic and trampoline and I think it's a good idea you you know you get to know more people and it's, it's a fun it's a fun thing Ilyana Rayeva Bulgaria
try to see a little bit of, of, the, of our country, and especially of the city that is your host, mm -hmm. the city of The Hague, the uh, city of which I hope that you will have a possibility at least to see a little bit. You ever heard of Maduro Dam? The tiny city, the yes, miniature. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the mini, mini city. Mm -hmm. uh, you can step around like a giant. <laughs> and that's the most interesting feeling. Go and see it. Mm -hmm. It gets hard sometimes. Yeah. And it's a really frustrating sport and it demands a lot of discipline. And it's hard sometimes, but I still enjoy it. If I didn't enjoy it, I, I wouldn't do it. Ulf Hoffman, German Democratic Republic. that I gain a lot through my gymnastics. I've been able to travel a lot, and most of the kids my age haven't been out of the United States, so I feel really privileged for that. I've been to Bulgaria, New Zealand, Mexico, Canada, um, Moscow, China, um, West Germany. I can't even remember <laughs> all the places I've been. I've been, and we have fun on our trips. We travel with usually a team together, so it's fun. <laughs>
time for fun. A great opportunity to beat your coach for a change. Well, gymnastics, you can get out of shape really fast. I mean, even... Well, I'm getting more used to it. I can take three or four days off and it won't phase me at all, but if you get to around a week or two, then your endurance gets down and you just get stiff and you can't do anything. <laughs> Daniela Grancharova, Bulgaria.
When you're a star, you get around. You get yourself a tandem and you take your teammate for a tour around the hay. Until you lose yourself somewhere near the beach. Fortunately, there's always the Dutch police, who are mighty proud to track down two famous American girls and deliver them safely at the gym. years ago, they were saying, you know, that's it, there's no more that anyone can do. And then now everybody's doing what they said they couldn't, like, it's like a couple years ago, double back from floor. Everybody's saying, oh, there's no way. But now, the um, people are doing two and three double backs in the, in the floor team. Here's the tournament's big surprise. Young Romanian Ye Katerina Sabo does the impossible, a twisting backward somersault on the bar. With this performance, she presents herself as the new Nadia Comaneci and as a serious candidate for Olympic gold in 1984. Well, when I'm learning a new skill, I'm usually scared, but when I've doing, been doing something for a long time, then I'm not usually scared. Like, my routines I do now, I'm not really scared. But when you're learning a new trick and you've never done it before and it's pretty dangerous and there is a possibility that you could get hurt, then it's pretty scary. <laughs> when people, you know, you, you work so hard and I guess it's nice when people, you know, realize how hard you work and they appreciate what you're doing. So, I think that's good. Winning medals. There's nothing quite like it. And no medals without flowers. Especially in Holland. Famous for its flowers. And what?
what can be better than to be offered roses that are named after you? How does this sound? The Julian McNamara Rose. It's a great honor to be one of the two only women in America who have a rose named after them. An honor you share with the First Lady of the United States? What a fantastic gymnastic tournament for the Ennia Gold Cup. Well, I was really surprised, and I'm really honored that they're going to name a rose after me. <laughs>